was that good morning greeting? I was rudely interrupted by my own. Holy. Do one like the hair. I slept in braids last night just because I knew today was going to be a hair wash day and I wanted to have like a hair mask in while it's in a bun while I'm just going about my day today. It's just most comfortable to have my hair in loose braids at night. Anyway, good morning. It is a Friday morning. Waking up, I, I feel like a fraud because I literally just posted a clean with me video. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it now. I think it's this one. But in my defense, that was filmed a couple weeks ago. And since then, I've had laundry. I've had some new launch with Gymshark come in. And so this pile of laundry just never wants to leave me alone. It honestly does not even feel like I have a queen bed anymore. I'm on this little sliver back to my twin bed days. I need to get my life together. Just a smidge, because I have some very, very exciting things coming up this month, which I can't really talk about yet. And I, oh, soon, soon you will find out and it will literally blow your socks off. Um, can't say anything, I can't say anything, I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm just starting a new vlog because why the heck not? I could use some company on this Friday morning. Oh no, oh, I left my plant out there. I guess he was getting a nice shower all night. I should probably bring him back in. It is raining. Love that. I swear it was supposed to be sunny this weekend. Kind of bummed. I've done shorts today because although it's very dreary out, I do want to do a cycle class this morning, which means biker shorts. No brainer. All right, these aren't really, these aren't necessarily biker shorts, but they will do. Matching top. Boom, boom. How was that? Was that cool? I'm really exposing myself here. So I just took my hair out. My hair looks crazy right now, but I'm gonna put it in a bun and I've been using this rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil. It's infused with biotin and encourages growth. And I mainly try to focus it right here because that is a little bit of a sparse area for me. It was a phase in my life where I only had my hair in high ponytails. Like I would never, ever take my hair down. Just like playing sports and stuff, I would always have it tied so tight back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also like to put some on my ends to give them some moisture. I just finished a quick Peloton ride and I just thought about it and I need to move my car for street cleaning. So I might just go to the gym for some legs. I'm leaving soon, but my mom did just make this ABC juice. So apple, beet, carrot. It's actually so good. I don't think she added anything else and she also just used a blender. She didn't need a juicer or anything. myself a little pre-workout concoction well it's it's just pre-workout but a little something for on the go i was watching some of my old videos the other day and the way that i used to do the dry scoop of pre-workout before every single workout i don't know who that is anymore <laughs> it's, it's not me that's not me now when i take pre-workout i just I mix it with a nice big glass of water. That way I'm just getting extra hydration in and I can enjoy it, sip it on my way to the gym rather than just downing a whole scoop of pre-workout. This is actually my first time talking about it on my channel, but I'm officially a part of the Beam team. As of April, I started working with Beam or You Can Beam. After trying Beam for the first time, I think some point last year, I think earlier in 2022, I wanna say, not even joking when I say that, every single product that I've tried from them I love the flavors, the product type, pre-workout, their greens, their protein powders. Today I have the Rainbow Candy pre-workout and she is delicious. I really, really like the Blue Star Gummy, which I don't have currently, but that was the first one that I ever tried from them and I was like, wow, this is good. So very excited to be working with them and to just have a supplement company that I can just truly, truly, truly stand behind. If you're in the market for something, maybe you want to try something new. I would check out Beam and I do have a discount code with them. You can use code Chris for 10% off. I'll leave that link in the description, but <laughs> very excited. Also, how fun are these little cups from Amazon? I love using these glass containers with a metal straw for all of my ice drinks, my greens, my pre-workout, my, my coffee. Oh my gosh, but yes, yeah, sorry, more delay. Let's just freaking get to the gym and hit some lights. 
the radio. Okay, really quickly, I made this new playlist. It's called High Energy Workout Mix. I mean, you could use it for any workout, but I do love it for like a good hit style workout or like a cycle ride, cardio, high energy, you know, hence the name. Honestly, any of my lifts too, because we got some fire songs up in here. A lot of remixes, remakes of songs. Oh, 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 this is a good one. Running to this song is such a vibe. Such a vibe, because you just... Oh, I really like this song. It's kind of weird, but like, I like it. Dom Dom. I just feel like some oldies, you know? All right, I gotta go, I gotta go. my face here. <sighs> Not the grunting, hi. simple now. It's almond milk, a frozen banana, and then the chocolate peanut butter protein powder just launched with Beam. And I think it's my favorite. Yeah, as you can see, I just showered. I made a quick smoothie and I'm gonna go back into the kitchen and make myself some lunch. But I'm gonna have breakfast for lunch because I already kind of had lunch before my lift. I literally had kimchi fried rice right before leaving the house. <laughs> I've been craving pancakes for the past few days, so yeah, I need to get my pancake fix even though it's already parents are out there right now so I'll, I'll let them finish up in the kitchen and then I'll, then I'll take over good morning y'all it is Saturday and oh my gosh I have crusty white stuff on my chin and cheeks I had a couple of random breakouts and I just smothered them with pimple cream. A task that I've been putting off that I wanted to get to this weekend was my shoes. I don't think I've ever really taken you guys to or like shown you my shoes, but basically we have this first column here and when you open it, it's... I can definitely get rid of a bunch of them. I do have more like boots and tings in this one. I know. <laughs> I want to go through everything, pull out ones that I don't wear anymore, ones that I want to sell, and then ones that I want to clean. Ideally, I would like to sell them at Crossroads, which is like a, a nicer thrift store, I guess, just to get something from it. At this point, I've had some of these shoes for so many years that like I don't mind if I don't make a ton from them. I don't know. These are actually so cute. I should wear these more. Hmm. Oh. I just got a tech my dirty blazers, which first pair that I've been needing to wash. I think I wore them to a concert outdoors or something. Oh, I didn't realize how dirty they were. Can I even clean this suede? Oh, yikes, okay. These Nikes, only worn these like a couple times. They're basically brand new. Also these, I ordered these ones in a half size too big. And I barely wore them because they make me look like I have clown feet, so. Are these cute? These are cute little cowboy boots. Oh my god, what the heck are these? I don't even know if Crossroads will take boots like these. Alright, 
it and this whole thing is full now, we will bring this over to Crossroads at 11 when it opens. And I just got done selling at Crossroads. And tell me why I always go in thinking like, I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna walk out with cash. And I thought today was gonna be a really good selling day. It wasn't terrible, but I just don't feel satisfied. They did end up taking about eight items, I wanna say. A few pairs of Nikes, pretty freaking new pair of Converse. For all of those eight items, it was like 60 something dollars cash versus a hundred something trade in value, like store credit. As they were going through my stuff, I was walking around, you know, checking the racks and whatnot. And Crossroads really is popping. So I did end up going with the hundred something in store credit. Was that a mistake? I don't know. It just felt wrong to only get $60 worth for what I traded in. Definitely could have posted these things on Poshmark, which I normally would, but I've never sold shoes on Poshmark, or I haven't recently at least. Do I ship that out to people in just a baggie? I don't, I don't, I just figured it would be easier to try and sell in store. So yeah, I showed up at like 1040, 20 minutes before the store was gonna open. And I do not regret that because I was the first in line and the first to get out. I'm done with that and I can just check that off my list because I've been meaning to do that. Now I'm gonna go home and make some food. Yeah, I'm back in bed. <laughs> I did take a little power nap, which felt amazing. I've just been watching YouTube in bed and I figured I might as well fold the laundry that's in front of me. I already put most of it away, but I have this whole bag of socks that have been in this bag for like a couple weeks now and I've just been pulling socks out of this, but I'm just gonna pair them up and fold them while I'm watching YouTube. I'm not gonna lie, my head has been hurting all morning. I've had a headache pretty on and off. My mom and I, we did have a little wine night at home. And I didn't vlog, but I did end up making dinner for my parents. I cooked a meal using Green Chef, which I mentioned in a vlog before. It turned out so, so yummy. And it was just really fun. I like being in the kitchen and doing all the prep and kind of just seeing it all come together. The way I've been making the Brussels sprouts in those Green Chef recipes, so good. Brussels sprouts with feta cheese, you add some crushed nuts and it is just pretty low key Saturday in my book. Just chill weekend, taking care of things at home because I have a busy, busy couple weeks ahead of me. So yeah, it's definitely nice to just be home. This is the worst. Oh, I found a pair. One single Gymshark ankle sock. One single US polo sock. One single Aritzia sock. One single Gymshark. Actually, wait, no, I have a bunch of uh, the right, the left sock, the Gymshark socks, which if you didn't know that there's sides to these Gymshark socks, yes, there are sides and the logo should be on the outside. One time I was wearing two of the same size. It just, it didn't feel right. The sock is probably exactly the same, but just with the logo on one side, but I can tell, I can really tell the difference. And then one single sock that belongs to my dad. What the heck? Oh, jackpot. Let's see if this solves my issues. Oh, another left sock, but we got two righties. All right, should I give you guys a sock tutorial? Boom, 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 boom. I need a little bit of editing power. I'm gonna have a glass of super greens, some of the best greens on the market. Beam, this is the apple cider flavor. This one's actually seasonal and I mean, it's still available on the site, so yeah. Plentiful scoop in the cup. When I'm too lazy to get my mixer out, I just put a little bit of water in it first and I kind of just swish it around like so. This headache is still here and it's already, wait. Oh, I looked at the clock and I thought it said 529, but it is 3.29. Still, it's so late in the day. Cheers, ladies and gents. 
Mm -mm. It's just a good way to get in some extra nutrients, all in one sort of thing to increase energy, provide antioxidants, reinforce your digestive system. Yeah. Oh, I know I literally just said I'm just enjoying being home. That's definitely nice. Just be home. But I'm gonna pack because I'm gonna hang out with a boy for a couple days and it's gonna be warm starting tomorrow and into the next couple of days. So very excited about that. Oh, I just, I need some sunshine. It's actually a pretty sunny day today, but I didn't really leave the house. So whenever I go, I have to pack a little bag or two. We'll do a pack with me video. Obviously workout clothes. Just because I'm hanging out with him does not mean it takes a toll on my routine. We work out together and it is always a fun time. I love putting in through my workouts. <laughs> and he loves it too, or he better. I love programming, I guess. Boot camp workouts for us to do outside. Sometimes I'll bring my dumbbells, my medicine ball, my jump ropes, all the fun stuff. I feel like those type of workouts are always more fun to do with someone. So we'll definitely do some of those. Swimsuit in case, because if it's nice out, I might just lay out and whatnot. Some shorts, one hoodie, socks. I Do I need that many socks? socks, the sweat towel. This is kind of nice. I get to just pack some of the stuff that I had folded earlier. Um, undies, undies. I keep a whole separate skincare bag with him so I don't have to pack it every single time. And it just makes life so much easier. So I can just go with my one little bag. I need to bring my laptop and things. I actually need to do some editing tonight because I want to get a video posted tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to finish that. Pretty much done with it though. So it shouldn't take long. External hard drive. Freaking love this laptop case from Amazon. It's just a black one and I put my own patch on it. It's from Outside Lands. This pocket keeps me organized. I just throw that in there. I keep a pair of headphones. I'll even put my spare batteries. My vlog camera fits in there too. So I just put all things tech in here. And it's just like its own little briefcase. Off to work I go. It's been a few days. I'm not gonna lie. Earlier, I took you guys with me to go sell some shoes. In the process of doing all of that, I also picked out shoes that I just wanted to be cleaned. A bunch of my favorite shoes were actually so dirty to the point where I was never wearing them. So I finally took some time to clean them all. Mostly all of my white shoes. Currently in the process of just relacing everything. These Converse had huge, huge, huge mud marks because I wore them to an outdoor concert. They got wrecked. My mom worked her magic. She helped me clean all these shoes and that is why they're on my bed. Otherwise I wouldn't have them up here. My blazers too. I also wore these to another concert. I also cleaned my white hokas. Thank goodness. I feel so good to have all of my white shoes restored. And now it feels like I have my entire sneaker collection back. that is going to wrap up this vlog i just want to do a quick outro because i forgot to i'm currently out of the country but if you're following me on instagram i also posted like a little community post or whatever on youtube but i am somewhere i've got so many vlogs coming up regarding this trip but you do have to be patient with me trust me it'll be so so worth it once everything is live and even though I'm currently traveling, I do want to get vlogs up for y'all. So hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so, so much for watching. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.